Harold is an unassuming man with a pretty standard job, but he lives in quite a unique location. Harold Halibut is a game I've been looking forward to largely because of its visual style, and we've got a demo to play. So today, I'll be going through it giving you my first impressions. I will tell you, the story holds some promise. This retro-futuristic colony under the water is run by All Water, a company turned governing board. High levels of bureaucracy mean lots of paperwork, red tape, and a potentially covered up conspiracy. The Lighthouse, a resistance group, seems to be making moves letting folks know that there's more out there beyond the darkness of the deep. I did find the story in the demo to be a slow burn until the very end, but it's still a compelling one and I'd love to know what you think. Enjoy! The mood and atmosphere of this game is already impeccable. Uh, I really like this music. Um, let's just hop in. I've been following this game for quite some time. I think they had some sort of Kickstarter or crowdfunding. I don't quite remember, but I know that it's been years and this game very clearly is a labor of love because it has been painstakingly handcrafted. Um, I remember I was at a GDC, which is the game developers conference convention a few years ago. It was actually maybe my first GDC and I remember they had a booth and they had like pieces from the sets that they would use for this game, so amazing. Ooh, and we're going, ew, what was that? Thick squid. Okay, so this is not the notion on Earth. This is not something we're quite familiar with. I don't know if I want to live down here. This seems a bit precarious. <laughs> Something about underwater living makes me apprehensive. Like, one thing goes wrong. The pressure, <gasps> Soap, kelp. Oh, this is freaking beautiful. Got a general store. Fishmonger. People are out and about doing their daily things. Holy mackerel, this game is so beautifully animated. What the heck? Colors. Looks like a plant shop of some sort. So we even have entertainment. The arts are perhaps flourishing. Perhaps not. Or maybe more of a speech, political speech. They even have down coats and fashion. Uh oh. Fedora One. All right, so that uniform, cop uniform, we dislike already. What are they doing? Are they hunting for us? Are we <gasps> Fedora? Harold, I'm afraid I need you to come with me. Oh, hi, Major. What's the matter? Is that leak bothering you again? It's your fine, your unpaid fine. I had a fine? You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. <gasps> Can you settle it now? Uh, no. But, but wait, I I'm sure I topped it up. Improper tube card management, Halibut. You surely recall that since last week, the Energy District tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit. If an onward journey to the social district is intended, in addition to the usual weekly turquoise credit. Wait. But only last month, it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold. But the this rules arbitrary make me. bureaucracy. Now let's get you over to the, the rules. Oh no, so we can no. All get on with our day. No, no, don't let the rules make you. That's the worst way to live. Okay. Also, interestingly enough, there's is that a diagram of space? I'm curious, like foul of the what we know of the world outside the ocean. Clause. I'm afraid if you really can't pay, you're going to have to think of someone who can. I guess that means we'll have to wait for the professor again. Who knows what she sees in you? Right, I'm needed elsewhere. There's a disturbing rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently. I hope for both our sakes not to see you again soon, Harold. Yeah, there's a rise because you've just created these hard to navigate rules 
but no one probably understands. You're setting them up for failure. My goodness. Ooh, okay, so we've got some movement. It feels quite weighty. Like, it feels heavy in kind of a nice way. Can't you just put this on my account? I'll pay as soon as I... Mr. Halibut, you don't have an account. Not since we blocked it. Please, <gasps> Mr. Secretary, let me just... I mean, look, can't we... <laughs> Your name is Mr. Secretary? <laughs> uh, my title, young man, is All Water Secretary Number 24. It is not my name. Anyway, I'm afraid All Water Corporation can't be seen to make exceptions. You'll have to go through the proxy payment process like everyone else. All water. Okay, so this isn't even like... This is like corporation has become state. All of it is one, it seems like, because the company is making the rules. So this is either like a company town that we're living in and managing for some reason, or, yeah, government... So, and companies have combined for? into one. Oh, I'm just here for the great company. Aren't you a little young to start working for All Water? What? No, I meant because it was the a company. Joke, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. maybe he meant the company, like of people. Could you let me wait in peace now? Oh, sure. We'll do. Have fun. Look at the textures on their coat and everything. Felix. Hi, Ma! Uh, look, before you say anything... Whatever your excuse is, it'll have to wait. Busy, busy times. Mr. Secretary, please charge whatever Felix's fine is to the company tab, please. Of course, Mrs. Van Der Vaart. Have a pleasant day. You too, Master Van Der Vaart. Freedom! Have fun, Harold! <laughs> I wonder how big this community is, because the kid knew my name. We reluctantly interrupt your daily business for an important... <laughs> for some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora One. Dear people, crew, and company, we seem to have discovered something super cool. Please do consider to congregate tonight at the Agora Theatre to... for some important information. Okay, so it said they said like friends, oh, Harold, family, and company are. or whatever. All over. Get your funds to the lab if you please. I do beg your pardon, ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. A completely reasonably priced and fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. Sir, please do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. Come on, Harold. Yeah, that's right. Put it on her tab. Goodbye, Mr. Secretary, and good day. Mr. Halibut, you'll need this oh, before you go. Awkward. Okay. Take it home. Yes, and only home. It's not valid for any other routes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And your tube pass should be unlocked again within 24 hours. So you'll be back to the luxury of fully automatic tube travel eligibility approval once again. I can't wait. All right, so we've got saving. Perfect. I wish I could... Can I look at these rules a little bit more closely? I cannot. Movement feels so cool. Again, it's kind, It's heavy, it's weighty, but I kind of like it because it feels weighty like these models feel weighty in a good way. I can't handle your shenanigans while we're in the middle of this mess. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Next time... This must have an underlying cause. Hmm... I remember when you were still in school and your teacher telling me about how you would just stare out of the window, oblivious to how he was shouting at you. Hey, it's the guy from TV! Can I follow? I cannot follow. Noticing a little bit of I was never in a day frame just, rate. The other stuff was boring. Harold. I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. Only boring people get bored. Eesh. I'm sorry, Professor. I never really liked that saying, only boring people get bored. Right, whoa! <gasps> Water slide to work, oh my goodness! <laughs> Guess, lube me up, make me slippery so I can slide on down. 
<laughs> All right, um, I guess we're at Central Station, so let's go to the All Water District. <laughs> oh no, this is the All Water. Oh, whoops, I should have seen it by the All Water sign. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's go to Central Station. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water choice. You flush me down. <laughs> Get me ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. You have arrived. The reason, sir, is that Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. But why isn't the line active? Whoa, look what at the fish. A man has a right to know. I don't know the exact decision making process that led to this, sir. But I assure you it will be for the good of your overall long term tube traveling experience. So will we get discounts on the other lines as a result of the inconvenience? No. As of yet, there is There's no a VIP discounts. tube right here. As we calculate Look at this. And there's proximity, so as I get closer, I can hear. And as I walk away, it sort of fades away. That's cool. Customer service speaks. I can confirm that there is no discount scheme in place and that we believe the fares to be fair. fair price. I can't comment on the price. This is fascinating. They've just been talking in circles. Oh man. I feel like uh I just got done playing one shot and there's this librarian. Uh, head light or not head librarian. Oh, lab district. Ooh, let's go to the arcades. Not accessible via your permission slip, and you know it. Dang it, fine. Lab district. Destination decided. Um, but I just got done playing this game called One Shot, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, if you like emotionally driven story games, adventure games, uh, I highly recommend this one. But Harold, I'm tired but there's a librarian like a in there who's butterfly. like, you can't go to the head librarian's office because you What's don't have a, a library card. That sounds silly. To get a library card, you have to go to the head librarian's office. And there's a circular logic that I'm seeing here too. Beautiful. The light, oh, I just, the texture in this game is so dang good. Trusting and delicate. Ergo, Sorry, Professor. You never take responsibility, and I never know where to find you next. Okay, hold on. I'm seeing a little bit of skipping, so let's turn down the graphics just a bit. Uh, just I want to enjoy the graphics, but I also want it to to run well on my my little potato computer. So let's do that. We we miss we don't get all the little speckly bits floating in the air, but that's okay. Still beautiful. Me, yeah, I noticed all of the people who are wearing sort of that cream, beige, gray lab garb. They're all professors, I it know seems I like. I off a bit sometimes, but... but Looks like I'm a plumber. Water raised the tube fares again, and they never announced it properly. This time it really was an honest mistake. Plus, there was this woman who... Quiet, Harold. We don't have time for your flights of fancy right now. There's important work afoot. Oh, yeah. Have you checked the blockage in the filter station yet? And did you need to feed the fish, too? Ah, uh, yes. Those two. I'm on the case. Bye, Professor. <sighs> Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, uh, I'm sure those are Thank all Thank you for paying my for fine? Day. You seem to have waylaid your PDA. Oh. It really is a wonder you get anything done around here. Ah, thanks, Professor. It's got a life of its own. Strangely enough, I noticed you hadn't added your daily task list to it, and I don't want to have to remind you about them again. Oh, thanks. Let's see. Uh, so, I access the list. It'll come back to me. Just go to the four selection buttons. Okay. Um, where were they again? The upper right of the pad! Ah, uh, yeah. Top of the four buttons, right? Okay. <laughs> 
so we can <gasps> cool. cute then i use the navigation knob to highlight and then hit the bottom button precisely okay great and it's the rightmost button to go back right indeed now hop to it <laughs> and i'll see you at the agora arcades when you're done i can afford to get there um okay What's nice is that uh, I like that little little bit of in-game, in-world tutorialization, how to navigate your, what do they call it, your PDA. Uh, so let's feed the fishies. <sighs> that would be pretty dang incredible to live. Oh, it's, it's out of food. food. Uh, to live underwater like this, Better but again, about this. the stress. <laughs> Ask Cyrus about fish food, okay. What's over here? Whoa! Oh, I love the way the camera transitioned there. I just, everything is so wonderfully tangible in this game. <gasps> okay. Now, can I, oh, I can, I can run. Boop, boop, boop. I love the way, just the movement, the animation, how there's that little bit of weight. Again, it's kind of like Mario. Um, where there's a little bit of that skid that's kind of nice. Like, Harold does not come to a sudden stop. This is not a precision-based game. Um, there's a bit of a slide to it, which I really like. Okay, so nothing here. But again, they talk about Harold having his head in the clouds, and it maybe it's quite literally, because it looks like there's a solar system diagram on his wall. And it doesn't seem like I can interact with anything around here yet. What a cozy little nook. Um, I guess let's go out here. Oh, what's this? Is this just the door? Oh. Whoa. Is this food options? What is this? Um, I'll just exit for now. We'll leave that down. <laughs> Who knows what that is? Probably important. Probably something I shouldn't leave hanging around, but I, you know what? I will. Lounge? Oh, hello. Ah, Harold. Perfect timing. Oh, Senor Tenenbaum. You too. I was just hoping to watch some Sun Tzu's Ashk. Got any idea how to work the old telly? That robe is amazing. Add only models. Ah. Should still be good for watching the announcement on tonight, though, right? You're really gonna watch that? They'll just announce another tube price hike again. Well, who knows? Diego from Health Services said he heard something about the reveal of something important. Oh, I can... <laughs> so what's interesting is, again, we have this oversight and this just overbearing, oppressive corporate just oversight on everything. Um, I'm going to ask what brings you to the lounge. What brings you to the lounge? Other than TV. Would you guess that the tubes to the utility district and the social district are down again? Strangely, yes. I can believe that. Does that mean school is out? Yep. The bambinos are happy, and I don't mind the time off. But if it goes on much longer, they'll forget everything. Won't they do their homework? Maybe. The whole social district is off limits right now, so at least there won't be much else for them to do. Is that why you're hanging out here? Mostly. It's just kind of cozy here, though, you know? I suppose it is. Anyway, don't mind me, Harold. Sun Tzu's What is Sun Tzu's Ash? Sun Tzu's Ash? Sun Tzu's Ash. Eternal love. <gasps> Best and only Turkish novella we have on board. I thought season 18 was bad. 18 seasons! Around Emery's cousin and whatnot. It's worth powering through to season 36, though. Season 36? That's where the plot really thickens. I'll try to check it out sometime. Oh man, it's like someone trying to tell me to watch One Piece. They're like, no, no, no. Just skip through like the first five seasons. When you get to this arc, it'll be good. I'm like, I don't know if it takes that long. If it takes that long, is it really worth it? Drink swoop water. 
Is that owned by the All Water brand? All right, so we still need to find Cyrus. But we're learning a bit more. We've got a variety of districts that we have available uh, to access, I guess if your tube card is working. And they're delineated into sort of the needs of the people. So we have the social district, we have the arcade district. Okay, whoa. Is that an octopus arm, a giant starfish? Who knows? Filtration pump? Whoa. This is kind of scary. I don't know if I like this. I would hate to again. Oof, hate to work here. Okay, it doesn't look like I have to do anything here. Unless, hold on. Aha, here we go. Oh god. <laughs> um Should I press a button if I have no idea what's going to happen? Well, it doesn't look like I can really do much of anything. Oh. Okay, well I don't I don't think I'm doing anything here, so I'm just going to back away. It's not letting me back away. Oh gosh. What am I what have I done? <laughs> I wonder, oh, maybe I have to find the shapes. Oh, something happened. Oh, God. Uh. I mean, now if I see the second to the bottom one is a U, so I guess there's that. So let's do this. Uh, question mark? What's interesting is that there's no... Either Queen this is a different King. language, or for perhaps people who are not professors, is there maybe a different... Like, they use... Um, I forget the word, but it's like they use sort of symbols and pictures to represent things. Like, are we keeping certain groups of society kind of illiterate, I guess? I don't know. Like, can we read? I mean, because we have filtration pump. It's like, we have letters here. Why weren't there letters on the pump to just tell me easily yes or no? That feels like there's something there to dig into. But I guess we would have to at least know how to read it. Whoa. We'd have to read a little bit because it's like we understood how to read the elevator signs. So I don't know. Maybe it's code so that nobody messes with it and only the plumbers know. Hey, sorry. <laughs> oh, ah, hey, here's Cyrus. Uh, what's going? I, I mean, uh, how's up? Just oh my gosh, my that's such a fun round. little sweater. Trying to clean the fish and feed the filter station. Super nice. How are the fishies doing? They're swimming away, looking good. But there's no food left in the fish feeding machine. Ah, lovely. Yeah, I've been thinking Number about one fish a lot recently. I've been wondering if, you know, even fish blood is such a good fertilizer, what, the slow-release phosphates and nitrogen? But we don't want to hurt fish. If samples were taken, we could somehow synthesize the... Sai, Sai. That sounds very interesting. <laughs> but what about the food for the fish themselves? Hmm? Oh, yes. Sorry, rat. Didn't I restock the other night? <sighs> Must have just thought about it. I'll have to formulate some more. You make the fish food yourself? Oh, I do indeed. I'm working on a new recipe at the moment, in fact. But, I mean, can fish even taste? It's not just about taste, it's about nutrition. We want their gills to function optimally, don't we? And their pigments to express as vividly as possible, a bit like flowers. Sigh, sigh. New fish food would be great. I'm sure they'll love it. Well, I'll get right on it, promise. Yeah, I think I have a test batch. Uh, yep, here. A uh, little taster to keep them going. Uh, you should try some, too. Uh, thanks. <laughs> No, that's I'll okay. I'll let you know what they think. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. <gasps> oh! We're free oh. out here. Whoa! Did you see that? Was that fish real? What? Oh, I'm not sure. I mean, even if it wasn't, their methods are getting way more sophisticated lately. Yeah. Mm, I kind of look forward the to seeing what stuff they're going to pull next. 
Me too. Or people who as also take care of fish and use up. them. Do you remember their first messages? Ha, huh, yeah. Wasn't it something about Fedora not being able to take off being a conspiracy? <gasps> yes, on all those little flyers, handwritten too. What did that fish message mean, do you think? Hmm, I guess something about exploring the planet? Didn't it say what's out here? Ooh, like they've hidden something. Maybe they think the ocean is a conspiracy too? I mean, now that you're mentioning it, maybe. Wait, can we talk even more to Cyrus? Nope, that's it. Dang, okay. So, it looks like not only do we have a corporation company town essentially here, but perhaps the company is withholding information about what's outside. I wouldn't pull, I wouldn't put it past them. I think that was the toilet, so we don't need to go in there. That was the lounge, whoops. I will say, I think the one thing is the um, depth perception for me is a little bit hard. The truth is out there? Is that what that says? The sky, wait, is that conspiracy? I'm surprised that they, like, just let us post that up on the billboard of the lab area. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the admin don't really pay too much attention to the billboards. Okay, so, interesting. Do I just leave that down there? Alright, so we got a little fish taste test happening here. Little fishy, your little dishy is now served. Okay, Herald bot diagnostic report. Scanning, scanning, all tests completed satisfactorily. Feel bad I left the Internet floaty thing in front of us. Minimal. Energy levels depleted. Recharging required. Next <laughs> Recharging destination, required. Agora Arcades. All right, we said we would meet the professor there at the arcades. I feel like I should probably put this back up. I don't know, it feels a little bit haphazard, just hanging down, doing its thing. Um, I really like Harold's voice, and I like him. I feel like he's kind of a timid guy. Um, he, he absolutely has his head in the clouds, but he seems really sincere in a way that I find endearing. Um, is that a bucket to catch leaks? I sure hope not. <laughs> um, but yeah, he seems really sincere in a way that I find endearing, and I am excited to get to know him a little bit better, see kind of what makes him tick, and if we'll ever see him maybe in a more assertive ah, why isn't this working? attitude. So typical. I suppose the ticket reactivation is still going to take a while. Okay, so how do I... I completed, go to the arcade. I tried. Watch the announcement. I guess we'll watch it in the lounge. Um... I just, again, I'm like, I don't trust if, if things are leaking and breaking and not working. Hello again. Hey, Chris. Ticket not working. Mind if I watch the announcement with you? Well, be my guest. Not that I actually live here. <laughs> oh, it's starting. Wow, 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 wow. We chose the stars. Not instead of the Earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Stars. Uh, well, we didn't, I guess. But our ancestors did. And we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Uh, left, I mean. We'd be back on Earth. And where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home, tasted its air, or gazed across its boiling seas. Boiling seas. But sea. we remember it. And then we made a new home. Even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation over all others helped make that possible. All water. On that note, I'd like to introduce Madam CEO Brenner 
Castle Chop. Good day to you all. As you may know, I am Brenna Castle Chop, the CEO of All Water Corporation. More importantly, I'm a citizen of the Fedora just like you. And it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. Join me in reliving and celebrating the remarkable journey we've been on together before we unveil the next step of that journey. Okay, so we, we it are may have started and, with one man, oh, but it took the hearts it. and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. Oh my God, the person in... <laughs> began at the height of the Cold War when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. He conceived of an arc-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families, and private institutions such as the Schlippmeyer Foundation, as a gesture of global care for the human race. That ship journeyed for 200 years, was home to five generations, and sailed past many solar systems, making fascinating discoveries along the way. Wow. Like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply, or the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. We had difficulties to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields, periods of hopelessness, and the unpleasant, albeit brief, alien infestation. And of course, 120 years after launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. After 200 years, we finally arrived at our destination, only to find that the promising, watery planet contained no habitable landmass and dense, toxic gases in the atmosphere. Hardly the second Earth we had hoped for. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could, that they would cause our ship to crash, just like Icarus, but with worse luck. Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. Is this the remains of the ship then? Wasn't that a wild ride, huh? We've achieved so much aboard the Fedora. <laughs> it's the but shortest never lived clap I've big. seen or heard. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy, so we should be listening to see what the local news is. So we hatched a new plan. A state-of-the-art, deep space radio boy capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip. And... Wait for it. Yes, we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now. That's right. The buoy will be in position in another few hours. Big congratulations and thanks to All Water for making this possible. I'm excited to see what we pick up. That was some announcement, huh? Sure. Makes for some nice gossip. But I think they should fix the tube system or upgrade the TVs, eh? For this fancy boy drama. Yeah, that'd be nice. What if there really is nothing else out there? Exacto mundo. We should be focusing on inner space before outer, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Speaking of inner space, I hope the tickets are working again tomorrow. Que claro. At least I brought some homework to Mark. Those bambinos will forget everything at this rate. And you've got your trusty couch. Yep, <laughs> we've gotten to know each other well. Okay, I'm gonna get some sleep. Buena notte, Chris. Buena notte, Errol. Buena notte. So we watched... Oh, look, we have a teapot right here. So we watched the announcement. I, I agree. I think it would be much wiser for this company to spend money perhaps improving the lives of the people Fedorans. the all water tube system will shortly be closing for the night please attend to the necessary travel arrangements uh so interesting so there's like curfews in the evening as well i wonder where the professor is but i'm sure she'll be fine we won't worry about her But also, I'm curious where the message is coming from then from outside the fish. Who escaped the, the all-water colony? Oh boy. What a day. 
How are they surviving? I was hoping tomorrow was a bit more relaxed. I could do with a day off. All this running back and forth for people is tiring, man. <laughs> but Sorry, Major Harold. Harrelson, that's what they pay you for. Don't let us down now. Oh, Harold really does have his head in the clouds. I like how, again, he... The way he talks to himself is really sweet and I very much relate to that day 18,251 AC after crash probably um like when he was like robot check-in time <laughs> enjoyment minimal <laughs> I thought that was really cute um and him sort of being like that's all right agent Harold Halibut <laughs> that's what the people need you for I think this kind of that, that shows a lot of his personality in a really simple way and I I love it Professor? Are you here? Morning, Harold. Hello, Professor. What did you think of that announcement? It was quite fantastically self-aggrandizing. <laughs> yes, it did go on a bit. The boy seems cool, though. Indeed. I'm sure it will make a great source of distraction. Now, if you're quite ready... Sure. Um, ready for what? I made a breakthrough discovery at the Arboretum last night. You remember the last batch of bloomy rocks? How could I forget? Oh, the really small ones from the last intake? The ones with the strange shapes and the little holes and... The blue ones, yes. Turns out their surface composition doesn't just give us clues about our immediate aquatic environs. I think they've picked up some influences from outer space as well. Take a look through the microscope. You'll see what I mean. Just remind me exactly how that thing works again. Harold? Are you fooling me? <laughs> this will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. You need to open the hatch first. I think it's kind of incredible that, again, his his forgetfulness makes for really good and natural saving tutorial <laughs> moments. Now, activate the switch next to the door to open the sample shelf. Okay, switch next to the door, like right here? This switch? Nope. <laughs> this switch? Nope. Oh, wait, you mean this door? Oh my gosh, I feel like such a dingus. <laughs> this is... I, I'm like Harold, I don't know. Okay, so these are like rock and biome samples then. The is in the container on the lower right. I see it, I see it. Right. Up. Bring it to the microscope and insert it into the hatch. <laughs> she asks if I remember my left and right, but genuinely, I have a hard time remembering my left and right. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Uh, whoop! <laughs> Et voila. Et voila. microscope, and finally, you'll see what I mean. All right, here the we go. The one you're looking at now seems to have picked Pretty. up radiation from our nearest sun. There's a particular mark for each time there's been a solar flare. I can only see one mark? That's the problem. There isn't enough of a recording on this one. I dated it to roughly 40 BC. So we need an older one. For? Exactly. Older ones, ideally. Although I doubt we'll have much luck catching more of them by chance. Oh, yes. We have to figure out when there's going to be a gap between flares flares cause the solar winds. A gap between solar storms is our only window for leaving this place. I need you to look into this, Harold. If anyone on board has an older rock, we need it procured. Yes? But if we're not going to be able to catch one, where am I supposed to start looking? You could start at Tommy's store. You and I both know that guy somehow gets hold of whatever those filter stations spit out, and then sells them at an outrageous markup. Good evening, right. Jean. Oh. Nice to see you, Bridget. Is the sample in the microscope? I'm really curious to inspect it. Yes, you definitely should. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna have to go to the store, do a little bit of digging. Um, I like this touch too, where they have uh, her colleagues come in and also inspect the rock. It's not like she's doing hey. you know, her work hey, in a vacuum. Hey, you're the professor's assistant, Jeremy, right? Um, yes, but no, I'm Harold Halibut. I interned in your section for about a year. Oh, goodness, you're Microwave Boy. Uh-oh. So, you do remember me. <laughs> yes, how could I forget that debacle? Actually, I've just met with your professor. 
Is everything okay? Not entirely, but I probably shouldn't be telling you. Okay, I'll... But I suppose if Moreau <laughs> trusts you, I'm a bit worried about our ship's energy reserves. I thought I'd talk to your boss about it. She's the smartest person on board, isn't she? Um, reserves? Are we in some kind of trouble? I figured reserves? yes. Are we probably. in some kind of trouble? Now I've said too much. Ask Moreau. Perhaps she'll tell you more. Okay, well, did you guys talk about the Bloomy Rocks at all? Did you guys talk about the Bloomy Rocks at all? Moreau said I should maybe check with your husband. As a matter of fact, we did. As for my husband, you'll have to ask him, which is more than I've been able to do the past few days. Knowing that infuriating rock collection, I'm sure he'll find you something. He's a sweetheart, really, you know? Go ask him. See you later. Bye, Richard. Oh, awkward, okay. That's not very nice. I don't appreciate when folks, you know. Harold, oh, when you see Cyrus, so obviously forget for someone's me? name. Sure thing, Professor. Just ask him, how are the details coming along? Okay. The details. I will ask him, but, um. Yes, yes, I know. I could ask him myself, uh, but didn't you stop to wonder why I don't want to? I just did stop to wonder. <laughs> it's complicated, okay? We go back a long way and don't always see eye to eye, especially on matters of categorization, nomenclature, and subsequent archiving methodology. Not that he ever saw fit to delineate his preferred... <laughs> don't mind me, Harold. I just mean Cyrus has his stubborn phases, and I just can't talk to him when he's in one. Okay, say no more. Your message is safe with me. Actually, Harold... No, it's okay. Nothing. Run along now. Suspicious. <laughs> All right, so we have a message for Cyrus we can deliver, and we have a quest for a rock, a blooming rock that we have to get. Uh, I figure since Cyrus is just down here, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, we can just go ahead and ask right now about the details and how they're coming along. Oh, Cyrus is nowhere to be found. Okay, I guess Cyrus is elsewhere. Oh, let's keep on moving then. Hmm. Also, I suppose this place really isn't that big or the remains aren't that big. Uh, it seems like everyone really does know each other uh, by name. You know, it wasn't like, oh, wait, hold on, ice and snow. Slippies. Need stuff elsewhere. You schlep it there. You schlep. And we're back. Back to the Telenova. Alright. Season 36. I can't start there. I gotta start at season one, so we're gonna not watch that yet. Uh, okay, so I guess if we can't go to the lounge. And we can't, or at least no one's in the lounge. Let's see if my ticket will work. Okay. So we're in the lab district. Could we go to the energy district? Destination selected. Yes. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. Just flush me down the toilet. It's just so weird. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the Water Corporation. Contaminant detected. Oh. Please do not panic. What? I, I'm kind of panicking. Okay, that was it. All right. Uh, oh, dang, we got a lot of pretty rocks over here. Okay. So hopefully we'll be able to find one that we need, one that we want. Okay, can I enter this room? Nope. Locked. Someone doesn't trust people that just go in there. Oh, hey, Cyrus. Hello, Cy. How's it going? Oh, it's been tough, Harold. Every detail has a detail. It's like this filigreed. Oh, it's good you're here, actually. Yeah? What do you need? Well, I'm having a bit of difficulty with a 3D printer. It's leaving gaps everywhere. Oh, okay. Oh. Shall I take a look? Yes, please. 
But I hope you're better with technology than you are with the ladies. Um... What? I hope so too. <laughs> that was uncalled anyway, for, Cyrus. So what the heck? Driver can get this printer its third dimension back. Yes. I don't know if I want to after the way you just spoke to me, though. <laughs> All right, 3D printer. You have to undo the screws first to remove the front panel. Okay. I guess I'll undo. Oh my gosh, are we really doing all of the screws? All of them. Oh my goodness, okay. I find this personally satisfying, but this is definitely realistic. <laughs> are we are we keeping the screws somewhere? Like, I don't know. Should we should we be putting them in a box so we don't lose them? Um was there a better way for me to do this potentially? I don't know. Okay, last screw is right here. Really took this thing apart. Yeah, that hole? This one? Ah! Oh, jeez, Louise! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Harold. I rude. <laughs> resist. <laughs> Ow. That's Ow. not very nice at all. Sorry. I could have died. Is the printer even broken? Mm, maybe, maybe. If it's any consolation, I discovered this little trick. <sighs> Cyrus, I don't think I like Ow. you anymore. Why didn't you just fix it then? It's not very nice. Uh, where would the fun have been in that? I'm not sure I like your idea of fun. Hmm, funny. Sunny says the same thing to me. But I guess she didn't like your idea of fun either, eh? Ow. Think of it as a wake-up call, Harold. Yeah, a little... Extra juice. What? Oh, that reminds me. Moreau asked me to ask you, how are the details coming along? Oh, thanks, Harold. Just like her to ask that. Wow, okay. Is it? <laughs> um, anyway, see you next time, Sai. <laughs> well, <laughs> when with that, I bid you adieu. Uh, okay. uh, Harold, oh. uh, one more thing. What is it, Sai? Could you take Maro a message? I sure. Suppose. Is it just gonna be like hers? No, 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 nothing like that. It's something definitely unrelated. So, what's the message? Oh, okay, fine. You got me. Happy? Just tell her procedure smeecher and that she puts the why are you in Cyrus. I don't know that's such a good <laughs> idea. I mean, what is this whole thing about exactly, anyway? She started it. Back in the days, we were both part of the Archive Club. She was always so darn keen to throw away all the rules and invent new archiving procedures. She called it a healthy distrust for calcified mental models. But all it did was stop us ever getting anything done. So... You disagreed about archiving? Precisely. <laughs> but it was fundamental. I mean, we respected each other's work, but there was this deep difference. And I guess neither of us was willing to budge. So, what did you decide about the archives? That's not important anymore. Come on, man. Sometimes you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Okay. So, no message for her? <sighs> Just tell her I say... Hi. She'll know what I mean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Catch you later, son. These two need to learn how to communicate and just keep me out of their business. All right, so we have a mini message <laughs> to deliver. Uh, but we still don't have our rock. Okay, so. Welcome. No, I've been disinfected. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's go to the Agora Arcades. Determined. Now, relax with all water. I wonder if everyone's perpetually like a little bit wet or damp here. Because if you're, you're constantly here. using the tubes and you're getting soaked Possibly every time. Concern for your own safety, oh? No respect for authority, wanton disregard for the future of humanity. Harold, good timing. You can explain things to the major, can't you? Harold? Come here and explain things. Oh, God. And yourself. Major, I'm just passing through. <laughs> I really don't know what I this is do about. It. Hi, Felix. So you're not here to make excuses for this diminutive delinquent? 
Hey, I'm not diminutive. I've just got longer to live than you. And Harold, tell him about our plan. Harold! I thought I told you to stay out of trouble. I should have known you'd be wrapped up in this. Jacques! I have I'm no not idea. Trouble. There is no plan. Are you questioning my authority and or organizational merit? What? No, Major. I... If I find out you're a bad influence on young Felix here... Not me. Major. Whatever Felix did, I'm sure it was meant innocently. And how would you know about that? Unless you're in league with him. I mean, he's just a kid. I, just meant, <laughs> I mean, if you just relax. Relax? Harold, you're really starting to tweak my beak. Uh, but but <laughs> what did Felix do anyway? Utterly unconcerned for his own safety, no respect for authority, wanton disregard. Anyway, Major, under whose jurisdiction is Harold in trouble? Mine! I'm the law here. Felix, will you be a witness to this? Absolutely. And can you testify to Harold's involvement? Only if he's willing to testify to mine. Harold, tell the truth now. It'll be easier <laughs> in the long run. This is madness. I haven't I'm witnessed going. anything this to is... testify. Damn it. Then the case is in danger of falling apart. I'm sure Felix's parents The Major will has this. too Point. much time on his hands. You should really be present while you question me, Major. I'm only a minor. Don't you throw the book at me, son. Where are they anyway? I don't know. And good luck finding them. Oh, no. Felix, have you lost them? Harold, leave this to the professionals. Felix, do you mean to tell me you've neglected to file a missing person or persons report? Shouldn't we look for them? Don't change the subject. But, Major, what is the yeah, subject? Yeah, I'm so That's gonna... right, Harold. No, you're right. <laughs> if, and I mean if, you're acting as some kind of heroic big brother figure to this young man. I expect you to be a positive influence. I, we, th there's no- Come on, spit it out, man. Just leave me alone, Sandstrom. I've got fish to feed. Okay, Harold, but your fish won't save you if I catch you red-handed. Now, Felix, where oh. is Felix? Oh no, Felix? Harold, you've lost him. Ugh. Hmm. All right, that was a lot. That was a, a, a lot, a lot. Uh, but also look at this poster for water wieners. Get them while they're moist. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like, I guess he has power and he's trying his best to, to flex it whenever he can, it seems like. Um, let's talk to the secretary, I guess. Hello, Mr. Secretary. Uh, eight, right? I'm afraid not. But wasn't it 24? You must be thinking of my brother, Secretary 8. Or Secretary 24, of course. Uh, oh, sorry. I triplets? always get that mixed up. There are just three of you, right? Well, now, uh, three of us work for all water, yes. Oh, so there's another Why triplets? Hmm, yes, Secretary 8 is the man to ask about that. He remembers it all much better than I do. Remembers? Okay, sounds serious. Anyway, I'm neglecting my post. Welcome to the Agora Arcades. Would you like to partake in the monthly all-water raffle bonanza? Oh, sure. Wait, is it free to enter? Certainly. The raffle is a generous gesture of frivolity from all water to you, the citizens of Fedora. Generous gesture of frivolity? All right, well, what are the prizes? What are the prizes? Well, there's a long list of luxuries, a plethora of pleasurable prizes. The full list can be perused at your leisure on the All Water Public Access Forum. All right, not an answer, okay, but I will I'm ready. take it. I'll just spin her up. Drum roll, please. And... <laughs> Looks like you were unlucky this time, but that's life. Try again next month. I wonder how many people have actually won <laughs> this. <laughs> Task, speak to Secretary 8. Oh, look at this rotating door. Whoa. Well, that's cool. So we'll have to find Secretary 8. So we have a little bit of plant life here. Message, John Slippy Jr.
Yes, Slippy's double black diamond deals are now on for one day only. Don't sleep on Slippy's exclusive new campaign launch event. Visit Slippy's today. Dang it, it's not even a message from someone I know. It's an ad. <laughs> um. Okay, speak to secretary number eight. Uh, a mysterious fourth brother that m might be willing to tell me more. Okay. And it looks like I've got a little bit of a doodle here. I can't... I can't manipulate the page, but it looks like maybe I have perhaps have done some drawing. So we have Gertrude's beer zone. Yum. I'd love a beer, and it looks like a robot. Oh, cool. The door pushes open. What do you think about the announcement, then? Well, I think it sounds exciting, Alon. You think everything sounds exciting? Well, that new boy thing and all might give us something new to natter about. That new boy, Zim? What's it gonna pick up anyway? Alien radio drama? Not sure, Alon. Maybe we'll get some fancy pictures. Seems to me it'd be more interesting to go sideways than back up top. You're going sideways, Alon. Right, you are, Zim. It's all this sitting around nattering with you. Hmm. All right. What have we got here? Hey, Tommy. Tommy. I don't suppose you'll be back in the shop soon? Oh. Or, I mean, I can come back later? Oh, no. What do you need? It's just that the professor and I need some sea rocks. I mean, filter rocks from older times that have come from the filters. And I feel like you might have one. Shh, quiet. Don't be mentioning filter Frankie. You know that every piece in my inventory is legally obtained, or, or legally found, right? <laughs> right, sure. For sure. That's why I'm here, to legally acquire an <laughs> item of yours that you may have. Okay, look and listen here, Longy Long Pants. I shut the store for a reason, you know? Oh man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you Longy Long Pants just then. You know how I you feel sure about my pants. you sure you come back another time? <laughs> It's fine. I'm just feeling sorry for myself. I've got this gut feeling that my beautiful angel wife don't care about me no more. Oh. No, I know I'm oversharing again. Tommy, you gotta stop oversharing. <laughs> no, Look, Tommy. kid, either way, I'm not gonna be of any help to you today. Uh, if you're sure. Yeah, you just caught me on a blue note, that's all. She's been spending so much time with that beautiful chunk of marble. You know, the guy in the silk robe and the Oh, I thought you locks. meant a rock sample, <laughs> not the actual teacher. Ah, uh, all right. So we have a, a little bit of a trouble, trouble here that maybe we need to figure Harold, out. Harold, if you're going to lecture me. I wasn't. Well, swell. But could you leave me alone anyway? All right. So it looks like we have... Maybe a little trouble in paradise. I love that we can push that door open. Uh, maybe we'll have to reunite them to get the rock that we need. You're cool. So be cool all of the time with my patented Consta Cool fabrics. So you see, that's the slippy difference. And if you just watch this exciting infomercial. Oh no. Ah, uh, Harold, if it isn't my favorite multi maintenance man. Wait, are you sure I can't interest you in- <laughs> You're like, let's oh, use this mind. chance to head out. Let's Hello. go. How's business? You're an everyman, right? I've made a new ad, and I need your opinion. I mean, I think it's great, but maybe it's too high concept. Oh, well, I'm not really qualified to- Nonsense, just watch. I like the fake snow that they have in the background. <laughs> I was trying to read a book in the comfort of my own home, but my own home wasn't comfortable. <laughs> it was too hot to concentrate. Will I ever be able to read to my children or enjoy the adventures of the Fedora 4 from my armchair again? Why, yes, of course you will. <laughs> With my patented, tried and tested aircon system, you'll always be able to keep your brain, books, and body sweat free and as cool <laughs> as Jimson Jameson himself. Please note, oh my gosh. system is not officially endorsed by the creators of the Fedora 4 or their likenesses. Is this a real video of Burn. people skiing? Sometimes I just can't get cozy. How's a man supposed to look after his family with cold arms? <laughs> my family are depending on me. What am I going to do? Not Clad the cold arms. In one of our triple insulating cozy jackets and matching <laughs> thermal underwear, of course. 
You know what they say, warm hands, warm hearts. Slippies means heritage. I'm the latest in a long tradition of winter sports enthusiasts. <laughs> Slipmeyers throughout history have kept everyone Excuse from royalty me. to the common man <laughs> warm and cozy in their pursuits of the great outdoors. Slippies means social responsibility. The Schlippmeyers were one of the most generous sponsors of the Fedora One project, giving back to the people, sharing their knowledge of insulation technologies and considerable wealth to keep humanity warm and cozy among the stars. Remember, you deserve to live and work at whatever temperature is right for you. <laughs> With over 200 years of expertise, you can bet the weather forecast shows slippies across the board. Come in out of the cold and into slippies. Slippies. Heat protection <laughs> so good, it'll be a cold day in hell. Well, what did you think? Uh, please just let me leave. <laughs> um, I mean, it was slick in the sense that it feels slippy but not in the best way um it was slick like you i'm gonna say that because that's kind of neutral enough and not complimentary really if you think about it so um it was there were lots of things and uh, great so glad you agree and while you're here i was just going Ah, oh, come on. You can't go without testing my new half-pipe experience. Oh my god, what? It's new and improved by a little modification to my patented aircon system that I'm calling the Freezer! <laughs> Is that... do I have to... I'm glad you asked. It no. combines precise atmospheric condition oh, synthesis with itself. the ski sim to recreate the most lifelike experience of skiing you can dream of. Don't that do sounds, it. You're uh, gonna break wait, an arm. Me? Oh god. Skiing? But I don't nonsense. I'm sure you're a natural. Harold, let's get you strapped in. Harold does not have the coordination. I know this. Oh God. Is this it? Um. Am I going? <laughs> oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, Harold, you were really blown away, Did I just away, break my wrist? Huh? Oh, my God. First time's the hardest. It's all downhill from there. <laughs> I guess I'm slippy by name, but you're slippy by nature. <laughs> I guess so. <gasps> I'd really better just go Just goodbye, now. goodbye. Sure, sure, but just so you know, I run a pretty generous referral scheme, if you're interested. For every customer you get. Got a dash. Okay, Harold. Be skiing ya. No. Notebook skiing. If you say that it's a scheme, that's already bad. Also, I love how Slippies is kind of the epitome of a thing that just does not really serve a purpose here. There's no actual need for a freezer snow generating air conditioner. Like maybe a regular air con, but this seems like a bit extreme because it makes it so cold that you have to buy a, a jacket to fix the problem that you just purchased. It feels like the ultimate sort of extreme of commercialism. Remember, it's all water. Oh, geez. How dystopic. Uh, let's go upstairs. Is there anything here that we can investigate? Hello. Hey, man. Welcome to the... Fish, fish hut. Sample our homegrown fedora fish or our freshwater catch of the day. What's the catch of the day today? Today, we have the great spotted super grouper. It sounds tasty. Super grouper Just out of interest, is that gonna find me. Hard to tell, man. You know, a few of the ship's fish escaped during the crash. So we don't know if they thrive in the ocean or even intermingle with native species. But we can guarantee that fresh super grouper taste you know and love. Interesting. So not only did we crash, but it seems like maybe we've we've introduced species into this ocean biome. 
and hopefully the species did not cause havoc in some way. Uh, we don't know. Coming soon. Okay, so there's some other stuff that we'll be able to do here. Ostensibly when the demo is done and it's a full game. Uh, this potions, potions, and magic building's cool. General store, can we go in there? Nope, not yet. Soap, kelp, pop, buns. And then we have Intercom Oasis. Ooh! Doppel! <gasps> Three doppel deck. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Oh my god, give me all of the pilot wings goodness! You know what's kind of incredible is that this feels so much more sensitive than Harold. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. We we have tasks to do. We can't spend all day at the arcade. That's a cool sunflower hey, vest. The name is Eve, not there. Oh, sorry, Eve. <laughs> Can I help you, mister? No, just came to visit Rafi. What you playing? Oh, some game. I'd rather be reading, but... Here we are. What do you like to read? Anything, really, you know. At the moment, hegemony and the pan-liberalism agenda of agnostic psychopolitic, mostly. That's... Wow. A hook? Yes. Say, did you know Captain at Large Burnhout holds the high score in this game? No. That's cool. I always wondered what those initials at the top of the leaderboard meant. Yeah. Well, see ya. Uh, I hope in the full game we have the opportunity to beat the captain's high score. That would be really nice. Rapid Force? Rapid Fly Zone Force. Lots of space games, which is really interesting. Um, it looked like the kid was playing either this game or a game similar to this. Uh, which, I don't know if this is a matter of like... Oops. Oh, geez, that was a bombastic explosion. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of interesting to see that like the video games that they played oh, hey, aren't like mm. fighting games or Harold. RPGs or anything like that. But they're okay? flying in space. Yeah, it looks like Space Force. Social district is out. Oh, right. Makes sense. Annoying. That's not what's annoying. Oh? Kids. <laughs> Everywhere. All the time. No school means no peace. You're just hanging around, taking space, playing all the arcades. Oh dear. But isn't that what this place is for? Kind of? <laughs> oh, I see. Good luck. Sorry, sorry you have to deal with the children. <laughs> all right, so Rafi, looks like we're friends. It seemed like the way I greeted, greeted them. All right, so, oh, hello. Oh, this is where the presentation happened yesterday. Oh, oh no. Hey, how is it going, Harold? Not too shabby, thanks. How about you? I'm super, actually. I found a book. Oh, cool. What is it the psycho-geopolitic, neoliberal capitalism book? <laughs> oh. Nobody on the station has read it yet. Apart from me. Wow. Wait, how What's did you get it? Stick around and you'll find out. My newest performance piece is a reading of it. Oh, nice. Which part? All of it, Harold. All of it. Without interruption. Oh, geez. It's gonna be a wild ride, so buckle up. Wow. I love how okay. his suspenders say, what, what? <laughs> it's really cute. All right, hello. You look like you're carrying a bunch of mail or flyers. A hey, postman. Buddy. Hey, Harold. Great to see you. How about that announcement, eh? Yeah, it was really something. It sure was. I try not to busy myself with those kinds of affairs. I'm just happy you're joining in for the station job. The Am job? I? Uh, I was only... <laughs> Chris promised me he'd be here any minute. Now we've really got a job team on our hands. I think I'll pass. No one's forcing you, Harold. But why don't you keep me company until Chris arrives? Okay, that I can do. How's the post today? Ah, oh, it's a bit slow, what with the tube to the utility district being out. So I can't really work. 
Not working makes me so restless. I hope it's back soon. Good thing you have the arcades to jog around. Yep. And Chris can't get to the school for the same reason. So at least we'll have plenty of time to work out together. That young man is almost as fit as me. Why do I feel like I'm the odd one out? <laughs> oh, hey, Chris. Just, Just wearing right. his First robe. To finish. That's my motto. <laughs> Harold, won't you stay? The jog team won't be the same without you. Yeah, venga, Harold. You can't leave now. I just got here. Jog team, jog team, jog team. <laughs> um, okay. But please don't make me look too bad. Um, okay. Go jog team. Oh. Oh, God. You're doing guys. great, guys. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> guys. <laughs> Jog team. Go on. Oh, God. I should just I was, cheat. <laughs> I was fit. <laughs> Jog team. Jog team. <laughs> Poor Harold. Oh. Good show, Harold. How's everyone feeling? I think there was a new personal best for He's me. He's not even out of breath. Fine. Fine. Thanks, buddy. How'd you both keep so fit? Oh, you know me, Harold. I've been running around this station for years. Gotta keep up my reputation for same-day service after all. Healthy body, healthy mind. That's what keeps me going. Gotta set a good example for those lazy students of mine, too. <laughs> Have you got any tips? Just keep on moving, Harold. You never know when you'll have to slow down. So keep going while you can. All right. <laughs> Notebook, the run. Oh, well, back on my jogging. I feel like that would be so horrible. I mean, if, you, if you've grown up, you know, the, these folks have been here for hundreds of years at, in the ship, essentially. And so I imagine, you know, they don't know different, but, oh, Moreau messaged me. But what's really sad is this idea of, like, they've never known jumping outside, running outside, breathing in fresh air after a run. Um, oh my gosh, wait, Harold drew the jog team. This is absolutely adorable. Harold, you're a little artist in the making. Okay, Moreau says, someone put graffiti on the wall. It's an eyesore, please clean it off. Okay, clean up the graffiti. And we also have to deliver the message. So I guess we're on our way back up. Oh, maybe this way. Um, let's go to the central Location station. Nominated. Journey commencing. All water. Thanking you. Uh, I want to know Thank more about what traveling with all water. What fish are happening around, like outside? Oh, I wonder if that station guy is the secret brother, or at least could tell me about the secret brother. Hello there, little miss. Are you lost? You could call me Lise. And no, I'm just waiting for someone. Oh, is Lise like a combination of little and miss? No. Stupid, it's my name. Awkward. What's your name? It's Harold. Nice to meet you. Is Harold like far and old combined? Well, <laughs> Technically. I suppose it is, actually. Can you just leave me alone? I'll yell stranger danger if you don't. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. Bye, Elise. Yikes. Uh, stranger danger written in the notebook. Ah, hello there. Secretary 8? That's me, sir. Can I help you get where you're going? That's okay. I was actually wondering... Well, I've been speaking to your brothers. Oh, how nice. Which ones? Mr. 17 and Mr. 24. Well, I didn't speak to Mr. 24 about that, but... Ah, yes. Yes, good, loyal, all-water employees both. I dare say I've been a good influence. Although even my shining example couldn't extend to him. So, he's the fourth brother. brother. What happened to him? Oh, <clears throat> I do apologize. I've got to see to uh, matters. 
but I'm sure 24 can help with your inquiries. He has a better grip on the whole sordid affair than I do. Family okay. drama? Okay. So we have to speak to 8, who I think, or 24, which I think was in the utility district? Or no, the all water all district. Water. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Wait, so if I was number 24, I'd be back here, I think. Here we go. Mr. 24, hi. Mr. Halibut? So, I was just talking to your brother, Secretary 17. I mean, in... <laughs> it was funny. Actually, at first I thought he was your other brother, 8. I'm sure he found it just as hilarious as I do. Do you need something? <laughs> Only that when I spoke to 8 about what 17 said, he said to speak to you about what happened with your fourth brother. Ah, yes. Our wayward Warren, the fourth brother who went his separate way, choosing a life of gastronomical frivolity over contributing to society with all water. Oh, gastronomical frivolity. Are you ashamed of him just because he didn't follow you all into working for the corporation? Is that why none of you like to talk about him? Actually, he tried, but he didn't pass the entrance exam. We suspect his heart wasn't really in it. We used to do everything together. And we were supposed to stick Aww. together, but he didn't study enough. And now... This is coming yes. from a place of what hurt, missing him. <sighs> Last I heard, Warren had started a food stall. I don't want to think about it. Okay, well, thanks for telling me about him. I'll leave you be. I mean, I wonder, th there was um, a food stall that, or it looked like a food stall, uh, that was on the top level of the arcade section. I wonder if perhaps uh, that was meant to be his... Whoops. All water compliments you on your choice of destination. All water. We get you where you're going. Oh, well, here, there's another different person here instead of the little girl that didn't like me. Oh, sleeping. Okay, we can't talk to someone if they're sleeping. Probably for the best. That doesn't seem very polite. Uh, so let's go back to the arcades. Style if we can't water. find the fourth brother at the arcades, we'll just go back to the lab. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. All right, so this is where I think the food stall was. Oh. It says coming soon, so maybe it's just not available? Let's see. We have to do. Check on Brigitte. All Water Brothers. There must be reason. How do I find out what it is? Clean up the graffiti. Oh, we have so much to do, actually. All right, so maybe we'll put that All Brother, All Water Brother drama to a rest for now and get some of our other tasks done. I think meeting with, is it Brigitte? Bridget, Bridget, uh, and cleaning up the graffiti. I'm excited to see what cleaning up the graffiti is going to be like. We got a little bit of a taste of like the maintenance tasks when we were unscrewing the um, the 3D chosen. printer, and I'd love you to see more of that in this game. Just like to mix up some of the gameplay a little bit, uh, having that narrative sort You've of adventure arrived. game component and then Change some maybe light puzzles or just some tactile moments. I think that'd be really cool. Okay, so graffiti. Where's home? It's a good question. 
Alright, so let's see. Where is... Where is Bridget? I can still deliver the message, at least. Hey, Professor. Got a message from Cyrus for you. Out with it, then. He says... Hi. Hi? Just hi? Yeah, just that. He said you'd know what it means. He's a sly one sometimes. I'll give him that. Stubborn as a mule. What's a mule? Oh, don't you start, Harold. Leave me be. I've got to think of a comeback. I mean, <laughs> get some important work done. All right, so that's complete. Did you need anything else? Professor? Harold, I'm quite certain you don't have the rock yet, and I'm busy. Just oh. let me know when you found it. All right, that's okay. Uh, so we don't have the rock. Whoops. Well, boop, boop, boop. There we go. How do I clean up this graffiti? There's a bucket right here. Is there a mop? Is there something in the lounge I could use? Nope. Maybe there's like cleaning supplies in the water cooler? Nope. Reading materials, toothbrush, no cleaning supplies. Um. <laughs> oh, I drew the little girl being mean to me. Sad. Okay, so let's find. Oh, go to the energy district. Okay. So clean up the graffiti. I don't know how to do that. Maybe in my room there's something I could bring out to clean up the graffiti? I realized I can interact with this. Let's try doing that first. Oh, graffiti. What good is asking where is home anyway? Where else are we gonna go? Could they just leave some notes around? I wonder if this is the light keepers again, or just someone copying their style. Will they ever reveal themselves? Hmm, good question. Ah, this is nice. Oh, this looks kind of cool. Oh my gosh, this is very satisfying. I like these moments a lot when the gameplay, uh, sort of the, the narrative elements, I guess, are, are interrupted just for a moment, allowing us to sort of be in the world and act as Harold. Um, I, I missed a spot though. Oh, that's gonna <laughs> make me just drive me up the wall a little bit. Um, okay, let's go to the energy lab. But that's very cool. Again, moments like the 3D printer, moments like that. I, I like that they have that included in the game. Oh, balls. Didn't mean to hit lab district. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. <laughs> it's hard. I'm like, I don't know how much of a view I'm getting if I'm just like careening through a tube. You have arrived. Please exit the tube. The disinfectant. Mist commences in three. Three. Wait for it. Zero. Oh, they are hanging out. Oh, I bet Bridget. you nothing elicits happening. And Chris, what are they doing in there? I can't hear them, but maybe I can lip read. Can I? Mm, it seems like Bridget is pretty excited about something. It looks like she's saying... You monster. <gasps> you monster is a very different word mouth shape than it's unacceptable. <laughs> I'm going to say it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Tommy would realize it's just it's just not worth the risk what Ooh, chris is replying let's see um, what it's totally it's worth totally worth any risk anyway <gasps> we should what if they are the light keepers or people notice we did see um 
Pretty What's mysterious. his face? Chris. Now I wish I'd never skipped those lip reading classes. <laughs> we have lip reading classes? We did have Chris um, saying, like, hey, I wish the corporation was doing these things differently. Uh, I wish people would take care of the inner space versus outer space. I wonder, again, if Welcome. maybe this is coming from a different perspective than just a citizen who's disgruntled at tube stuff not working, you know? Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Alrighty, so we have a little bit to report back. Hey, I don't know, really know. What do you know oh. about Filter Frankie? Filter Frankie? Yeah, Frankie. Who likes filters? <laughs> Hence, Filter Frankie. Yes, yes. Right. Well, I heard he's always mucking about in the filters, digging up all sorts that he sells to Tommy. What I want to know is, why doesn't anyone just go down there and find stuff? You ever been down to filters, Alon? Nah, you? I got shown him once. Not very appealing and technically off limits. Okay. Well, then, there we go. Who you reckon he or indeed she is then? Well, we can probably surmise he, or indeed she, isn't really called Frankie. Solid reasoning, Alon. <laughs> so my guess is, he or she could be anyone. Could be you, Alon. Could be you, Zim. Aye. <laughs> then, uh, there would we be. Down the filters, most like. Aye. Good thing we're not down the filters. I'm just getting comfy. Friendship for the ages. These two are great. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you again, but I went looking for Mrs. Vandervart, and she was at the Harvest office. Not news. It's her office. Where else would she be? I know, but it's more who was there with her that I thought, you know, oh, I God, should Oh, God, am mention. I starting? What? Am I brewing up drama? Who was she with? It looked totally professional. I didn't see anything bad. Just Senor T Tinnerbaum. Ah, what? What's he doing in her office? There's no way he knows enough about energy. If I still had my own hair, it would never have come to this. No, Tommy, it's not about I'm the sure hair, it's not Tommy. Like that. I just you don't understand, Harold, what it's like to get old. But I'll be damned if I'm going to take this lying down. Tommy, I don't think you should uh, get angry. And you're in on this with me now, Harold. Oh you god. You did the right thing bringing <laughs> this to me. I'm really sure it's nothing, just a lunch chat. I've just been so busy working on this damned store sign, thinking Bridget would love the ambition, you know? See me as a real go-getter again. Let's talk to but her. Maybe this whole time I should have been showing her signs of my love. There you go. I'll bet she knows you. You're absolutely right. We'll modify the sign. Nope, just Tonight, missed it. <laughs> make it into a great big sparkly neon proclamation of my, nay, our love. A sign she won't be able to miss. He got so close. A sign to blind that glossy maned Casanova. I mean, I'm not sure that's the sign. Don't doubt it, Harold. This is gonna work. I just feel it. You're in, right? Will you help me save our love? Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm uh, here for I'll it. I <laughs> knew I could count on you. Let's get to work. Okay. I mean, if I get to make a cool neon sign, I'm not gonna say no to that. Another fun activity. Oh, there we go. T plus B. I'm this, gonna go fresh. This isn't little. exactly what Might I envisioned, even put on a but outfit, now that I think of it. Will you go and look for Bridget for me? Okay. Bridget. Bridget, I don't know what she's gonna think about this. My but... dear Bridget. I'm sorry we haven't been able to spend Aww. much time together recently. So I get how you might be attracted to the man-machine with the flowing looks of an angel that you call your friend. But I do beg you to give me another chance. Please, Bridget, will you let me back into your heart and take this monument to our love as a sign of my great affection? Tommy, of course I love you. Aww. I would never betray you. I just wanted to give you some space. I saw you working so hard on your new sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Couldn't tell me what? Oh, what the heck. 
The ship's facing some issues with the energy budget. She's just I going around and telling everybody. Sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Ha. No way we've got an energy problem here. Uh... That was it? No helping Tinner Bomb with his spray tan? That was it. No spray tan. I'm so sorry, Buttercupsy. I love you. Cute. I love you. <laughs> Everyone, let's clap for a little. <laughs> the Major's like not having any of it. Thank you for your help, Harold. I was hoping you'd accept this stone as a thank you. Hey! Ah! Oh. oh, no. Oh my gosh. Or Wait, won't be you got to robbed? This. Blue rock stolen. Major, you got any leads? Major? Harold! If it transpires you had anything to do with this wanton violation of code Why would I steal the rock I've been gifting? So... No, no. I want to find the rock more than anyone. Hmm. Say I believe you. Can you think of anything that might help us find the culprits? I'm sorry, Major. I'll let you know if I think of anything. See that you do. That missing rock is a stain on my sheet of justice. I will. Bye, Major. <sighs> Be good, Harold. Ah, oh, Harold. Listen, about the rock, I'm really sorry it's gone. You know, I would have loved for you to have it. Uh, it's okay, Tommy. It wasn't your fault. I just feel bad, you know? I was so wrapped up in my own stuff, maybe... <clears throat> uh, I don't know. Thanks, Tommy. Maybe it'll turn up. I'm just glad you and Bridget made up. Thanks, Harold. You're a swell guy. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Let you know if I hear anything. Thanks, Tommy. All right. So no idea of who the culprit could be. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to go and report Bridget? this back to Harold. How are you doing? Moreau. Uh, you know, same old. Yep, same old here too. Energy issues. You heard that, Mr. Busy Ears? You told me. Ugh, but yes. I mean, we've always got to be careful and efficient. And you know, this isn't public, but I want to be extra careful right now until we figure out what's going on. Is the station using more energy than it used to? Well, yeah, especially the transportation system. And the damn tubes or tickets never work and just get more expensive all the time anyway. Right. Uh, how does energy production even work? You know, I'm not sure I've ever understood exactly how the energy process works. Gosh, why are you asking me this now? It's not exactly a line answer. Look, if you really want to know, swing by the energy harvest office sometime and I'll break it down for you. All right. Uh, why don't we reduce the tube transportation system? Remind me why we can't just reduce the transport system? Huh, I ask myself the same thing. Every time we add some new upgrade or expand it, it eats up more energy. Our production process doesn't get any more efficient. Plus, when we held an anonymous vote about it, the majority of Fedorans said they'd rather have more transport now rather than more energy later. So... I'd better go. Thanks, Bridget. See you, Harold. Huh. I wonder, again, anonymous means that there is potentially a degree of manipulation that could happen. Like, I wouldn't put it past the corporation to, like, mess with the data so that, you know, people... Oh, it's not at his post. Oh! Hello, child. Hi, got you a message. Oh, thank you, Miss... Zoodle. Zoodle. Pleased to make your acquaintance. So, it's from Felix. He says there's something he wants to show you and to expect a secret message soon. Oh, what? This is what? not the secret message. I mean, and why couldn't he just have said that to me himself? I don't know. Go ask him. My work here is done. Later, mister. Thanks. Okay. So, let's check our to-do list. <laughs> um, let's see. To-do. Blue rock stolen. The three brothers are shunning their other brother. Okay. So let's go and tell Moreau that the rock is stolen. Determined. Now, relax with all water. <sighs> oh. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. So 
So we've got an illicit. Whoa. The old water tubes oh my gosh, it's been a whole day already. Please attend to the necessary Get home safe. Okay. Um. Yeah, so we've got the the lighthouse folks, which seem to be a sort of secret group, secret cell of people who want to share the message of a world outside of the fedora. We have All Water, which is the company running the fedora in control of everything. We don't have, it seems like, any sort of government other than the company. And we have Harold, who seems like... I feel like he, he definitely is dreaming of a world outside of the ship, even though he's not maybe distinctly articulating that he wants to go to a world outside the ship. He Professor, wants more from his not life. Gonna believe this. Why does that not surprise me? The blue rock. It's gone. You found it? You lost it? It was stolen from Tommy's store. This is utterly vexatious, Harold. I know. What shall we do? We? I need to think. Madam CEO, you're going to want to hear this. I'm listening. It's the new boy, ma'am. It's picked up a signal that we have reason to believe <gasps> originates from Earth. Uh, what? Had you reverse dated the transmission? We have. It was sent in 2102. So 126 years after we left. Things would have been pretty rock bottom back there by then. Let's hear what was important enough for them to call after us. Maybe it was their final farewell, huh? <laughs> I hope it's nothing too awkward. Okay, I'll send a copy via... Well, just play it to me. I've got a 1205. But, Mom, it's only 10... And one of those. Okay, playing back now. This is Earth, after the fedora. Well, you were sure hope you're all okay. Whoever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. Johnston! Cut the damn line! You're live! Oh. What? Oh, fudge! Professor, did you hear that strange message? We all it heard it. Miss. Yeah. <laughs> it's the first message from Earth. Ever? Certainly in my lifetime, at least. I wonder, what kind of message would a dying civilization speculatively send to a ship what that can they never return? Dying? What do you think it means? It means that the fact all water haven't shared it publicly yet means they're thinking about how to turn it to their advantage. What if... It's not the first message. Don't be paranoid, Harold. What reason or authority would they have for keeping messages from us? Still, even if they had planned to share it immediately, they look suspicious now. Gosh, that message could be anything. Maybe they've got information for us about our mission. Hmm. Well, what could that information be? I bet you, because... It would suppose It sounded like, boy, hate to tell you, went out to space, but everything's okay here now. Like, what if it's one of those? Yes? Oh, it's you. Yes? No. Indubitably. Fine. What? 15%? Out of the question. Cyrus? Maybe the CEO? Okay, sure. See you shortly. Harold, I want you to come with me. Huh? To where? What? Who was that? Why? It was the CEO, CEO of All Water Corp, of course, asking me to jump. What for? How high? Indeed, Harold, indeed. Well, unfortunately for my bath, she was adamant we went there immediately. She even unlocked our tube tickets for emergency night travel. But why? What does she want with us? Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Come on, let's not keep her highness waiting. This is going to be a cliffhanger. Oh, dang! Crisis control. No! We need to get out there ahead of the turn in public sentiment. First move advantage and get this working for us, not against us. Oh, I love yes. this song. Come in, come in, come in. Now, as you both know, Time is of the essence. Sorry, where are my manners? Would either of you like something to drink? Ah, I suppose I might like a coffee. There's really no time for coffee. Time is of the essence. <laughs> Professor, would you like to sit? No, thank you. 
I prefer to stand. Oh, a woman of action, I love that. Anyway, we must act. Due to the unfortunate Comnique incident, we've been forced to move up the schedule. It's imperative we deliver some good news about the start procedure. Hmm. I suppose that wouldn't hurt. To that effect, Professor. And, um, you there. I'll need you to supervise Cyrus directly. We can't afford for any unforeseen delays. Cyrus, he works best undisturbed. The man is a stubborn buffoon, but there's no doubting his thoroughness. Professor, please. It would do this old heart good to know that you were keeping a watchful eye on him. Or maybe your, um, protege here could do it. I'll hang out with, I mean, watch Cy, sure. If it makes you happy, Madame CEO, we'll make sure Cyrus delivers. Great. Music to my ears. Thank you both. You've done all water and the ship a great service. We're ready. Go live and stay on schedule. What are we going to tell everyone? It's my privilege to announce to you all today that our new boy program has already proven an unmitigated success. We present to you now the full and unedited audio that represents the first incoming message we've received in our lifetimes. Now, before the message plays, I'd like to take a moment to reiterate just how proud we should all be of progress on the new start procedures. It won't be long before we're ready for the first attempt, the latest in a long line of steps on the road to a greater, brighter future for us all. Please enjoy this message, brought to you by the All Water Corporation. This is Earth, Earth to the Fedora. Well, we sure hope you're all okay, whomever is still out there. Some we are not quite sure how to tell you this. And things were pretty rocky. Yeah, when you left, of course, and, you know, that was a brave move. Probably the right decision at the time. We didn't know whether to even tell you this, but we figured maybe it would give you some comfort way out there in the freezing clutches of deep space. What? Oh, right. Yeah, I guess. Or, I mean, even better, the comforting, warm embrace of a lovely, habitable new planet. Well, we just wanted to let you know that we pulled together down here. The sparrows calmed down, and things pretty much worked themselves out. Life still isn't perfect. Bananas died out, and you've got to be pretty careful around water. But by and large, we're back on track. I've survived. Wish we could send you a postcard. Anyway, be safe, and maybe one day we'll get a hello from you. We'll be listening. Wow, they actually what didn't are you all still doing here? edit that. Don't you have work or something to do? Scram! I mean, why wouldn't we want to listen to the audio? <laughs> it's like... Retreat to the lab. I want to see what maybe anyone has to say, like maybe one of the secretaries. I knew it. I was like, I knew somehow things would have gotten sorted out and now people may feel even more salty about being here in this dilapidated skeleton of a ship trying to make life work on this really unhospitable planet or supposedly unhospitable planet. Where are you going? Can I also go down there? Oh. Maybe? <gasps> it's like we could go to the lab or we could go down this, go up this elevator. Fedora CPT, what's CPT? <clears throat> Captain at Large Baronhout? Ah, uh, hello. Uh, how are you, uh, um... I'm Harold Halibut, sir. Oh, yes, I'm sure you are. Harold, tell me, have you ever felt lost? Oh, I always get lost around here. Uh, no, Harold, I mean, feeling like you have no purpose. I know my purpose, but sometimes it doesn't seem very important. You heard the leak, I presume? Yeah. Of course. 
That leak. That one message, it's undone me. Mm. If my whole family, this whole mission, the ship, my captaincy at large... <laughs> what if it was all a mistake? Oh, I see. Well, maybe Earth didn't get as bad as people thought it would. But we're still us. And you know, it wasn't us that chose to fly away. I suppose. Yeah. Speaking of which, have you ever lost someone, Harold? Have you? Yes. Someone important. She's gone, Harold. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. What happened? Coco has taken an unscheduled leave of absence. Oh, so. Oh, so she's, she's not, not like lost dead. <laughs> forever? No, I'm sure she'll return eventually. But every moment without her, I spend in longing and despair. Is it anyone I might know? My beloved? Her name is Coco. Oh, not sure I've ever met her. Do you want to see a picture? Oh, it's a bird. <laughs> Coco is a bird. Harold, you're such an understanding sort. Could you try to find her for me? I'd look for her myself, but in these uncertain times, I think it's best I don't leave my post. Um, so about Coco. So, about Coco. Yes. Such a loyal first mate. Does she maybe have any favorite hiding places? Hmm. Not that I know of. I did find her once in a broom closet trying to hatch a sea sponge inside my hat. I promise to keep an eye out for her. Oh, Harry. I hope she's okay. I'm not sure she has another friend in the world. Are you sure it wants to, you want it to be me looking for her? Are you sure you want her? it to be me looking for her? Whatever are you implying? I'm sure you're perfectly capable, um, and I'm thoroughly and otherwise engaged. Bye. <laughs> Poor Harold. I feel like everyone, everyone asks him to do things, but very few people, almost no one actually seems to both remember and respect who he is and what he does. Um, even, you know, his mentor. I feel like she perhaps sees him as someone to take care of, but I don't think she really respects him. Obviously, the major doesn't, doesn't treat Harold very well. Um, Bridget doesn't even remember my name. So it's interesting to see how someone who probably is quite critical for Location getting things done nominated. around this ship Journey and around this commencing. biome is just kind of like forgotten by a lot of people and underestimated by a Thank lot of people. Thank you for traveling with all water. Oh, right. It's nighttime, so everyone else is in bed. All water. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. All right, we're back home. What say you? Oh, a present. Hey, oh, are those the new teacups? Come and see for yourself. Oh, I promise I ordered them. Harold, just look. Is it the rock? When you are lost in the dark, you have to go deeper to find your way out. The light keepers. What are the light keepers doing? There's the cliffhanger I was looking for. Interesting. Huh. I am pretty excited to play more of this story. I think it's a bit of a slow burn. Like some of the pacing, I think, feels a little bit slower to me. Um, maybe also because I just got done playing a couple of games that were a bit more just fast paced, but I think some of the side quests, I was kind of like, okay, I'm doing them. 
not sure if I'm going to feel rewarded by the end but with the payoff and we'll see because we didn't finish out the side quest with the brothers so we don't know what that's gonna mean for us as a character we didn't finish that side quest with Coco that we had just gotten so I think it's a little too early for me to say if some of those alt like branching bits are really valuable and feel worthwhile to complete. I think the main story is interesting. I always love like a, a little bit of a mystery, a little bit of a drama. I am interested. I think the game is honestly beautiful enough to look at. The voice acting is solid enough. I'm really interested to know what's going on. Um, I think while I'm sold on Harold, I haven't found the other characters quite as um, engaging and so I'm hoping that as we get to know them they feel a little bit more nuanced. I think again the biggest feeling I'm getting from the rest of the characters is how much they don't care about Harold in a, in a way that perhaps will change as we get to know them. I think maybe like the professor I think she probably cares a little bit more for Harold but uh, it's interesting again as I was just saying as we were finishing up he seems to be disregarded and sort of pushed aside by a lot of folks, and so I want to see how that arc evolves. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. If this is something that you're interested in playing, if it's something that you're interested in watching, um, I would love to know. And if you're going to pick it up, or if you have questions that you think you have after playing, uh, watching me play this, put them in and we can discuss them together. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this demo, this in discovery, helping you hopefully find another game that you will enjoy in the future. And uh, if you'd like, follow this channel, find me on TikTok and Twitch under Kim Chica. And I hope to just highlight games, play them, enjoy them with you and think through them um, hopefully thoughtfully and a little bit more deeply, uh, you can join my video game club called Geeks and Grounds, where we play a game every month together and discuss it as a community, kind of like a book club, but for video games. And even if you aren't able to play every single game, we do have a companion podcast where myself and my co-host Joel talk through the games and discuss, uh, some of the themes that we have been talking about as a great wider community. So yeah, geeksandgrounds.com everyone. And that's it for today. Today. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. You find lots of games to play and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!